Hi everyone, on today's episode, we're going to show you basic settings and video playback functions in the Reolink client software. I'm Mike, and this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. First, if you haven't watched our video on how to set up your Reolink client software, then be sure to watch that video first. And make sure to hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing is launch the Reolink application. Okay, this is our home screen with all of our cameras. We have a total of eight cameras. We're gonna start with the basic settings first. And before we start with the basic settings, let me show you how to move your cameras around on the screen. If you don't like the way the cameras are set up, simply click on a camera and drop and drag it to the location you want it. And now that our cameras are set the way we like it, let's start with basic settings. Let's go ahead and start with our top left camera. Go ahead and click on that camera, then go down to the bottom to basic settings. From here, we can change the channel name. And I'll call this front yard. I would recommend you change your camera names that describe the location of the cameras. Also, you can check mark the date and time in the watermark. By checking that mark, it will display that information on the screen. And with the date and time, you have multiple position settings. My personal preference is I do not display the date and time or the watermark. I find it kind of clutters up the screen. But in this example, you can see where the date and time is and the name of the camera. Let's go ahead and click the watermark. And the watermark is located at the top left. Okay, there's two more tabs. We have the encode tab. And you wanna keep the stream type as clear. It has a better resolution. And the next tab is the video info tab. And you can adjust these settings like contrast or saturation. Okay, that's it with the basic settings. Well, let's take a quick look at the picture settings. It's the center button. We have a zoom button. We have a capture button and a record button. And this button will stop the live view. So right below basic settings is the advanced settings tab. Now I wouldn't recommend messing with much of this. The anti-flicker I put on outdoor since my cameras are outdoor. But the rest of the settings, I just leave them alone. So below the advanced settings tab is the video clip settings. And you have one option here. You can enable clips or disable clips. The last tab we'll talk about is the PTZ tab. That's pan, tilt, zoom. And if your cameras are pan, tilt, zoom, you can adjust these settings. My outdoor cameras are not. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is the playback tab. This tab allows you to look back at recordings. So here's how this works. On the right side of the screen, pick a channel you wanna view. Click onto the camera and drop and drag it. At the bottom, you'll notice a viewer. This is where the video is recorded for that particular camera. And any red you see is an event, which basically means something moved. And this is very helpful, especially if you're trying to find something that happened like someone trying to break into your car or into your house. At the left side of the screen, there's a play button, a stop button, and a frame by frame button. Next to that is the fluent and the clear button. And next to that is the fast forward button. And this lets you fast forward from one times, two times, four times, eight times, and 16 times. If you look to the right, there's a calendar, and you can view that camera for many of those days that are in orange. Just click on that day and then you can start watching. Well guys, that's it. That's the basic settings and the playback settings for the Reolink client software. And you will need an MVR system in order to view the playback video. I recommend the two terabyte version that gives you plenty of recording space for all eight cameras. Well guys, as usual, I wanna thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.